This is a pulse arc welder. It's similar in principle and, and in uh, application and in what it does to the laser welder. You can't shoot through a three millimeter thick piece with this like you can with a laser welder, but you can get some, some depth on this. But basically it does the same thing. Now, again, it's, it's not where you have a positive and negative lead where your action takes place between two pieces. A, the, the energy comes out of the tip of this electrode here. That's what happens, okay? Because you don't have pliers in negative and pliers in the positive and that works. With this, you have to, with uh, one side, you have your electrode piece and then you have to make your, your ground. Now, I want to hold this in place. I don't want to have to really heat this up and solder it but one time. The old way of doing this for me was for me to solder this head in place, and then I have to do my cutting to put the other prongs, the other heads in place. So what I do, and this is going to make a bright flash, and what I do when I'm using this is I just blink. If you use, like, welding goggles or something like that, then you can't see what you're doing, so I just blink. Do the other side. Now, let's look at it and see if you can see with the black around it. Now, this is carbon on this, but it's the same thing as we had on the other piece, and it comes off pretty easy. Now, this, you can hook argon gas up to this machine, and it'll cut out that carbon because it creates, it floods the area that you're doing the welding with a non-oxidizing atmosphere, and you won't have any of that black. But you can see what happens. This is a metal-to-metal bond here. It's actually welded. It's not soldered or anything like that. This is in place really well. Okay, that's not tacked. That's welded. Now that, I would solder it after that you know, because this isn't, this isn't permanent. It didn't shoot but so deep. Now, the next thing that we do is we want to create a pinch for this to go on here on this side. What you need to do is create like an X. Sometimes when you get down to the bottom, it's wanting to bind on you a little bit. Okay, now I have my pinch in there. This is a great, simple ring mounting to do, and it looks really great when you have these three, three stone rings. Maybe somebody doesn't want to put the money into creating a handmade basket setting, but they want a three-in-line ring. Now, in the times past, what I would have to do is I had to solder the center head in place, and then I would have to solder the side head in place, throw it in a pickler, you know, do all those different things. And you know, it takes longer, but now all I have to do is get my arc welder, come over here and arc weld the side. Now I saw it on that, you know how much pressure sawing on things can put on it, and the center head is still intact. Again, that's a weld, that is not a solder, okay? which is much stronger than soldering even because it's metal to metal. There's nothing binding it in between. That's why solder joints, joints break because it's actually not metal to metal. There's a layer of something in between. That broke through both sides. We had it just about the perfect amount on there. Then I can arc weld this other one in place and make sure they stay in place. And then I can solder them all at once in one operation.